Hey guys, today we're back with another video. We're with the landscaping business. With all the changes over the last week, I thought, hey, why don't I pick up the camera and bring you guys along for the day. Let's get the F-250 fired on up here. So guys, I did end up moving the landscaping series over to the Lone Oak Farms map. This is a private edit with lots of expanded subdivisions and so many opportunities, so many cool things we're gonna be doing here on this map. But like always, guys, there's a full mod this link down below and if you haven't already please hit the like button now guys when I decided to move the landscaping company I thought hey uh, this would be the perfect time to sell off a little bit of equipment downside so we could then scale up with much larger work so I'm gonna be going over all that here today but I also uh, decided hey why don't we just keep the same shop that way we don't have to pay to have a new shop built and uh, we already know and uh, can uh, work with the uh, space here now I did do a time-lapse video building this if you guys like to go check it out over on the Square Farms channel, but I'm so excited here It's been a long time coming uh, big changes, but uh, sometimes change is needed Let's get the gate opened on up. All right, let's get parked up here in front of the office now You guys can see pretty much almost everything is the same I will definitely go over all of those little things here, but I really do like it I actually bought this uh, little plot of land about a half acre from the farmer He uh, just has a little bit too much land and I offered him a price he couldn't refuse which was was pretty sweet here but really quickly on the f-250 guys I did add color match bumpers I thought that would be a pretty sweet add-on here too really do like this truck although I've used this truck a lot guys I really do like it and I think we're gonna keep it around here but for trucks I actually did end up selling our other Ford pickup truck the f-450 dually I just didn't really seem to use it it's a big truck and we do have a few other ones as well but let's get the garage doors opened up so guys, for our work trucks, we do still have our 2020 Silverado, the 2020 Ram 3500, the dump trucks, all three of them to be exact. We have actually been doing quite a few contracting work uh, for other companies around here, but look at this, guys, completely reorganized, and you guys can see quite a bit less equipment, so I did actually end up selling the big Volvo excavator, the small uh, JCB mini excavator, along with a few miscellaneous attachments and things like that, and also that small compact packed wheel loader you guys can see look at this setup now one thing guys I actually decided to bring the salt spreaders inside because I have noticed uh, even in the rain uh, sometimes rain uh, sits in there we don't want rust anything like that here but look at that I think we have the perfect pairing for excavators although I would like a pretty nice medium size to larger one I think the two uh, skids uh, uh, the two excavators are good we still have the same three skids now I did decide to keep one wheel that way if we do need it here that is good to go here but guys we are actually going to be heading on out to the dealership because I am going to be trading in this Kubota tractor I've been looking for a new tractor this is just a little bit too big and I don't really think we need the cab on it so I think let's uh, get one of the trucks here probably just the uh, Cummins let's get the trailer and let's go over there now guys, I've really been enjoying the landscaping series so far. It's been a ton of fun. One of the most popular series here on the channel. Now I do want to bring uh, some people in game here to have kind of a nice multiplayer role play series that should be a lot of fun. And there's so many other things we're going to be doing here as well. But let's see here. I think instead of bringing the tote deck trailer, we'll probably just bring the uh, skid steer trailer. I think this is going to work best here for us. And I really do like switching between everything here. But like I've mentioned over the last week, week and a half I was gonna do this and this was a lot of work here going through every single mod making sure uh, we have a purpose here for it because I really I want a lot of equipment but I don't want equipment just sitting around here uh, really kind of collecting dust is probably the best way to put it now with this Kubota tractor guys we put on quite a few hours here we've used this quite a lot use it a lot for snow removal and you guys might be asking if you do use it for snow removal why would you not want the cab here well I think uh, we're probably just gonna uh, lease or rent some equipment for the winter months here because the snow the salt puts a lot of extra wear and tear on everything especially the uh, farm tractor here uh, this is pretty much what we call this thing but let's get loaded up no problem sometimes it is a little tricky here just making sure we're good to go that should be good here we'll put a few straps here on it and we'll catch you on the road 
Now I did mention earlier guys a comment scale down to speed up and what I meant by that was to sell off some of these smaller equipments. Although I do like taking on all types of jobs, the small jobs really don't have the profit margins we need here. And hey, I like using the big equipment so we sold off the small JCB uh, excavator along with some of those things and we now we only have the big things here. But we don't want the big, big jobs, kind of the in-between. That's where our company makes a lot of money here as well. But we're actually heading to local... Uh, the dealership I do know they do sell John Deere Bobcats and a few others and I do think there's gonna be a few other tractors there I'm not really sure but I want to buy a tractor that uh, we could just go uh, five ten minutes to the dealership pick up oil filters or any necessary parts now if you do have any cool ideas here for me please let me know I really do like using your feedback here to help improve the videos and the channel but here we have it we have arrived here at the dealership wow look at that some pretty big uh, tractors out front there that is a pretty sweet here let's come around I think we'll just kind of pull alongside here not really sure where to park especially with uh, truck and trailer it is always a bit tricky here Alright guys, let's hop on out here. Oh, look at that. They do have a few tractors out front here. Wow, that is a brand new Kubota here. I believe this is a compact tractor. Wow, it also does have the turf tires. That is a huge bonus. Let's see here. This looks to be old Case IH. I really do like this thing. Wow, that looks like an old farm tractor here. Just looking around. It looks like these are a few mower attachments as well. But oh, wow, here we have. Wow, this is a case. Let's see. Let's see the 245D. I think, guys, if we were to buy excavator another one I think uh, this is the size we want here probably about a little bit bigger than what our backhoe can handle and I think guys this might be it's so let me know down below I might have to work the numbers and see if we really need this for our jobs but as a landscaping uh, company that wants to expand this might be the way to go it looks like they do also have quite a few bobcats here, but let's get going here on why we came here, which was for a new tractor, although I really do like this case tractor. I want a brand new one, that way it's worry-free, it's under warranty, and I think this is going to be it here for us. Now, usually the keys are in it as well. Oh yeah, it's in it here, so let's check it on out here. Wow, really do like the front loader here on it. Let's just kind of drive it around the parking lot here. Now, I'm a huge fan of compact tractors. They're just so versatile, especially for landscaping. I will say guys this is a uh, pretty fancy here. This is definitely the one guys I'm gonna go work the numbers and let's see if we can make the deal happen. I'm just now getting the tractor tied down here so you guys can't believe this our old tractor with a cab uh, which is right over here was actually worth more than what the new one was so we actually got a check for like a thousand uh, dollars right around a thousand after taxes and everything like that so hey we sold a two-year-old tractor for a brand new one and I think that's uh, actually gonna fit us a bit better here especially with landscaping you're doing little touch-up work jumping in and out of the machines and having a no cab is gonna make that a lot easier so this was definitely a good purchase here but I did also ask about the numbers for the case IH here I will say those are pretty attractive this might sell soon so let me know down below if we should end up picking this up here and I did ask them about this case here as well so possibly I will do the numbers maybe we could do a video next week if I do end up deciding uh, to pick up both of those here but let's hop back in the comments let's go back to the shop I can't wait to uh, put this in our shop here now one thing guys I really want to try to get as much new equipment as we can that's under warranty that way we drop it off at de the dealership if something breaks and usually they'll fix it because it's under warranty so that's one of the huge bonuses to buying a new slightly new uh, uh, is uh, that uh, feature there but let's get on back to shop Looking at the time guys, it's just past 3 and we actually need to get over to Tractor Supply here before they close at 4.35. So we're actually going to have to just hop in the other truck, head on out, that way we could go pick it on up. So like I mentioned guys, when we uh, did this move, I did sell quite a few attachments and one of those things I sold was a brush mower. I actually sold all of them, the ones for the skid and the tractors and I will say guys, those brush mowers get a lot of wear and tear here. So I thought uh, for a little bit more money we could just buy a 
brand new one here. So I'm thinking, why don't we just take the Duramax uh, dump truck? And this dump truck, guys, uh, you guys don't really see me using it too much, but we use this a lot as just a regular flatbed. Uh, you put the uh, tailgate down, you could put a uh, pallet, so many different things on the inside, and that makes it so much more versatile than just uh, for hauling uh, gravel and things like that here. So let's go take this over to Tractor Supply. I think it's probably going to be a 25 minute drive. We're going to make it probably close to right around 4. Hopefully they don't start to kind of close up. Now I will be posting an ad to hire some employees, which should be pretty exciting here. I can't wait. The more people we have working here for us, the more work we're going to get done, and the more money we're going to be making here. But I will say, guys, this dumb truck is one of my favorite ones here. It's just a pretty neat one, but uh, like always, uh, guys, there's a full mods list linked down below here. I am trying to use as many public mods as I can, and if the mods are uh, private, they're usually kind of just private edits of stuff that has been previously released in uh, Farm Sim 19 or other games as well. And if you are looking to get the new Farm Sim, use the links down below. Use uh, my code as it does help out the channel here. But yeah, we're right around the corner. I think we're getting pretty close. Guys, we made it to Tractor Supply here. It's actually just before 4 here, so we do have a little bit of time to shop around it, uh, to walk around here, which is going to be a good thing here. But let's put out the tailgate while we hop on out, and let's take a quick walk around here. So you guys can see we got some chicken coops there, some push mowers. Actually, those look to be full electric. Hey, electric is definitely going to be the future as well here. Pretty cool dump truck looks like someone's over there. Wow, look at all the materials. Looks like they have some lights there, some power boxes as we keep on going. Uh, they actually do have these, which we're going to start to use as well. That keeps the dirt from going all over uh, the properties over here. They do have quite a few supplies, cones. Wow. I mean, this tractor supply has a lot of materials uh, compared to our previous one. Looks like they also do carry a few different mowers here, but we are actually here to buy this one here. Now, I did call them. They actually got it right out front here. So, this is a Bobcat Brush Cat. This right here was $3,200. I will say, for a brush mower, it was pretty expensive, but I think it's going to be well worth it. You guys can see this was made specifically for Skid Steers and for the Bobcat brand because our previous ones were three points that we uh, were able to kind of weld on conversion kits uh, to use on the skids. So this was going to be the way to go. I'm going to have to find the forklift driver because we can't lift this by hand. The forklift driver was a bit busy, but after chasing him around here for a few minutes, he got it loaded on up uh, for us here. No problem. And they did actually throw in an extra set of blades here for us, which is going to come in really handy. That's really appreciated here for us. Now, I did set up a uh, landscaping business account with them, so we do get a little bit of a discount here. Hey, that's good. That means we're going to be coming here for all of our things. They do sell attachments, tools, things like that, which is going to come in pretty handy. Time's flying by here. Looking at the clock, we're almost before 5, so I think I'm going to have to uh, just kind of call it a day here. Just kind of put the uh, truck and trailers inside, get everything unloaded tomorrow, and uh, just kind of get on going here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun getting back here with the landscaping company. Like I mentioned, guys, I did do a time-lapse video building this new shop on this map over on my second channel. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.